if you're uh, dealing with people who have no agenda, you know, who, who nothing and no, uh, nothing is our agenda and never is our timetable, right. it's very hard to negotiate with them. There you have House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi on The Daily Show, blaming the Tea Party for one of the most unproductive Congresses in decades. And that's not all she said either. Uh, either. Uh, Pelosi calling the Tea Party, quote, an anti-government, anti-science, anti-Obama faction bent on blocking anything the president wants to get done. So how do you really feel? Guy Benson is town hall political editor. Julie Roginski is a Democratic strategist, both Fox contributors. Great to see you guys. What's up, guys? Happy Friday. Hey. Yep. Okay, Guy, let me start with you. Is there some kernel of truth to what Nancy Pelosi said about the Tea Party? Because let's remember, they stand for taxed enough already. So what they're really trying to do is slow down big government, slow down federal spending. So that, that is their agenda. So they're slowing down any other plan that somebody else has. Your thoughts? Of course they have an agenda. The Tea Party has an agenda. The GOP has an agenda. Nancy Pelosi doesn't like it, but that's different than not having one at all. What now, is look, the Tea Party's agenda? Well, I think you listed some of it. I think uh, reducing the tax burden, reforming the tax code, reforming our entitlement programs to make them sustainable. And that's just three things off the top of my head that Nancy Pelosi would oppose, which is separate from not having an agenda at all. Now, that was paint by numbers, inane stuff from her. What I do want to do, however, is just give her a little bit of leeway here because, in fairness, I think that her orbit has to have pretty low morale these days. Some of her top allies on the Hill have announced they're retiring. Mm. The Democrats have basically come out and said we're giving up on winning back the House, so she's staring at years in the minority. So mm. she's lashing out at the boogeyman, which is the Tea Party, and okay. fine. Okay, Julie, do you agree? Well, you know who else actually trashed the Tea Party not too long ago and said they lost all credibility? John Boehner, by the way, the Speaker of the, well, of the entire House, but the leader of the Republican House. And so it's not just Nancy Pelosi, it's even people like John Boehner who've essentially said the Tea Party engaged in what he considered to be an unproductive shutdown. So this is like open, this he, like, Julie, it's like open season, It's right? open I mean, season. It's open season in the sense that it's not just Nancy Pelosi saying this. You know, the leader of the House Republicans also thinks that the Tea Party has okay. no credibility the, the, and that basically the, is going nowhere. The other thing she was asked about during that interview last night was about Obamacare. And it was kind of like crickets in the room when she was uh -huh. asked this question. Watch. We are going to set up a health care website that is an exchange. People are going to come to it. Right. Why is it so hard to get a company to exactly. execute that uh, competently? I don't know. And I, oh. no, as one who works very hard. No, and that's oh. my question. Well, let me get the uh, House Minority Leader here. I can ask her. Hold on. No. Wait, what do you mean you don't know? Well, How do you not know? Well, it's not my responsibility. Um, what a moment. Uh, I mean, two things in there, Guy. You have to get a better answer, and you've got 10 months to find one. Yeah, I, here's the woman who just a few seconds earlier called the Tea Party anti-science. And she's also, by the way, someone who goes out and says, oh, the government has no spending problem, because that's obviously a stickler for empiricism mm -hmm. right there. But she's asked the question, how has this gone so badly? And she was in charge of making sure they had the votes to pass it. She made mm -hmm. all the promises, keep your plan, lower premiums. I don't know. It's not my responsibility. Julie. Excuse me? <laughs> Julie, very quickly, she should work on a better response. She should probably have a little bit of staff work. And maybe comedy is not her uh, milieu. And maybe she should not. <laughs> maybe. maybe she should stick to the Sunday talk shows and not try to tackle Jon Stewart. Um, that was not good planning on, this, on the minority leader. You'd part admit, though, a few crickets were hopping right. across that desk, right. wouldn't you, Julie? <laughs> See you later. All right, guys. Bye, Julie. Bye, Thanks guys.